and um, stuff happened to me too, you know, I, randomly, just, I was sitting at a park, and pff, this kid just came out of nowhere, and we were all playing manhunt, and this kid, he, he was from a couple, like, blocks over, and he just came over, and he was like, you threw a rock at my dad, and I don't even know who his dad is, you know, and he, he was, he was very, you know, he was very, like, persistent on telling me, like, I threw a rock at his dad, and around me was all his boys I was like maybe like 11 or 10 and I was just sitting at the table and all of a sudden he just punches me in my face and after that I, I, I didn't know what to do because that's the first time I'm like you know facing this kind of like like stuff uh, you know just getting violence, violence yeah just facing this kind of violence and like happening to me especially you know and I was just, I was just shocked. I was like, oh man. And I know if I hit him, like if I, if I made a move, and I, I didn't know how to fight then, you know, because I never got in a fight back then. Yeah. And just if I hit him, I, his his friends around me would, you know, jump in, yeah. and you know, and I knew this kid was, you know, he he knew he was lying too. He just wanted trouble, and that's what happens, you know. And they see like they just look for trouble, you know. So, you know, facing that, I you know I, I got into boxing, you know. I like you know. F put all my anger and my, you know, sweat, like, in boxing, and, you know, I stayed out of trouble, but, like, still, like, the people around me, the people I went to school with, and they were, they were all into that life, so, but, like, I, I learned because my family, you know, they were, like, right there with me, you know, they, they, I have an older brother who, you know, graduated and stuff, so, like, seeing them, you know, graduating, I, I want to go to college and stuff, but, I think I think that like without that experience like I, I wouldn't know like I'm I'm very street smart you know just like you know just seeing around me and just very cautious about you know who to hang out with and who not to hang out with cuz a lot of people they they don't you know they'll they'll like tell you like they're there for you but you know they're not you know so so I think I think I got you know a, a lot stronger by just you know living out there you know a lot of you know seeing a lot of stuff you know I, I saw people getting jumped randomly you know it's, it's like be, get beat up for no reason you know get robbed I saw this one kid get stabbed you know so it's crazy and and people actually think that you know it, it's Atlantic City you know like the, everybody goes to Atlantic City thinking you know oh like you know casinos and stuff but they don't actually really walk around the city because it's, it's dangerous, you know? And I, I wouldn't recommend walking around the city by yourself at night, especially especially around Atlantic Ave or, you know, Pacific Ave, you know, because you'll, you'll definitely get mugged, you know? And and race plays a big factor to it, too. Yeah. You know, if, if you're white, you know, and you're walking there by yourself, especially if you're a female, you know, it's, it's dangerous out there because got people don't care, you know? Absolutely. So could you possibly share just um, a few stories, my, my fight stories, or anything you think is relevant for, you know? Yeah, I mean, so, let's see. I mean, some fights you were involved in or weren't involved in, doesn't really matter. I mean, there was this one time, like, my, I, have, I have this one friend who who's really like his dad his dad's in prison and like you know he like he was he was one of my really good friends you know and he, he just you know followed his dad's um footsteps you know his dad was you know gang banging like li living that life selling that drug you know and you know making money without you know actually working his dad finally went to prison for a long time and so this kid is growing up without a father you know so like he started trapping because his mom his mom's a hard worker you yeah. know his mom's you know working at the casino is trying to do two jobs and stuff and it's sad because like his mom's a really nice person you know yeah. and this kid you know is living by himself you know and he has no one else you know so he, he literally came out of you know AC, you know, just gangbanging. That, that's all he knew because that's what he saw his dad doing. Yeah. So this one day we were like walking down the street, and I, I didn't know this, but you know, this kid, th this random kid, just came out of nowhere trying to rob us, right? And my friend, I didn't know he he had a gun on him. You know, that's the first time. Like we were like maybe like twelve or thirteen. That's the first time I seen a gun at a place. You know. Yeah. So we were walking and. That kid that pulled a knife on us, my friend just pulled out a gun, and, and you know that shit scared me because I was like, "Yo, where'd you get that gun from?" You know, you're like yeah. 12 or 13 years old, you know, yeah. can't be carrying guns like that, you know. But like, you know, stories like that, you know, seeing like, you know, people getting stabbed. There was this one time I was near this crown fried chicken, 
and there's this parking lot, you know, and the parking lot's empty. There's no cameras. There's no like um, lights around there, but it's right next to the, you know, the food I was getting at. So like I got off of work one night because I used to work uh, at one of the casinos. I got out of work, you know, I went there at like 1 a.m., you know, trying to get my fried, you know, fried food. I parked my car in the parking lot, and usually there's like, you know, people like right in this, you know, like right on the streets, and this guy was begging me for money, and I was like, I really didn't have cash on me, you know, and I, you know, I was like, I don't have cash, you know, so I went in, you know, the food store, got my food, came out, and this guy was like, oh, so you got money for food, but you can't give me a dollar. I was like, yo, go make your own money. I mean, I shouldn't have said that, <laughs> but, you know, he, he took that to offense. So I was walking back to my car, and all I hear is footsteps running at me, you know, and I saw this guy just, like, coming at me with a knife, you know. Yeah. And luckily I saw that because he, he was aiming for my, like, fucking stomach, you know. Yeah. And I, I, I like, grabbed his hand, like, his wrist, and I, I like, twisted around, and I got him in a chokehold, you know. And like I had, I cho I had to choke him out because you know this guy wasn't gonna give up, you know. But like later, I found out he was affiliated with like you know like a gang, you know. 